Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a 2008 Toyota Camry that's in here for the check engine light. Now I scanned the codes and basically it has lean codes and it has a bunch of misfires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smoke test the engine and see where the leaks are coming from. Um, I'm thinking there has to be a common thing leaking here and a smoke test is the best way to test it. So before we begin the testing on the vehicle, I just wanna show you guys what we're gonna be using as far as a tool for this. Now, this is my smoke machine. These are quite simplistic. Uh, you hook them up to 12 volts battery power. Uh, the tank inside here is filled with a oil that when it burns starts smoking up and has a distinct smell so that way you're able to see it. Uh, and in the back here, the way these work is you just pressurize them uh, and it'll basically shoot the smoke out a pipe which is right here in the front. So in order to do the smoke test, I'm going to be using the specialty tool. Now. I do work in a shop. I have these specialty tools like the smoke machine. I don't expect you guys to have that. Uh, that right there is probably like a thousand bucks. Not, you know, everyone's going to have one. I have them because I use them every day. But the way this tool works is basically this is a diaphragm that you can blow up with air. Now you're going to stick this inside the intake manifold boot. And the way this works, you have this little, you know, like squeeze puffer thing like the old school doctors when they used to measure your blood pressure. Um, and the way this works is you pump it up and this will basically inflate. Uh, this is basically kind of like an eggplant looking thing. And uh, the way this works is if my hand was the intake, um, I'm just, just for reference, imagine this is the intake tubing. You stick it in there and when you inflate it, it gets big. It doesn't let any air escape out of the back end. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how does the smoke get in there if you block off the port? It's a very good question. So if you notice there's a hole here. And you notice that I have the plunger where I fill it up and I have this tube here. Well, this is where my smoke comes out of. What you want to do is take your smoking device, whatever you're using to create your smoke. You're going to basically insert it on this end. Now, I have my smoke machine set up and I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And you guys can see the smoke comes out of there. So what this does is seals off your area, provides smoke to go in there. And as long as your tool is on there blocking the smoke from coming out, you should be able to verify wherever you're getting a leak from. And the reason why I like this tool mainly is this one, you can get it in very close to the filter, guys. It's, you know, probably the best thing mainly because you get to test everything. Uh, imagine if you do a test, you have a, you know, breathing issue. You'd want to test it from your throat all the way down to your lungs. That's essentially what this does. You're basically plugging it up at the mouth and you're forcing that smoke through the whole system. So if there's any leaks anywhere, you'll be able to find it. If you were to use any other method and you don't have this, and let's say you uh, start putting your smoke in, let's say halfway down, let's say to like where my lungs would be, well, guess what? You're missing from here to the mouth that could possibly have a leak. That's what this essentially does. Now, I don't know how to explain it any better than that. Uh, sorry, uh, I got all doctor there on you guys. I didn't go to medical school, but you know, just as a general thing, it's you want to test the whole thing from where the air enters to where it goes. And that's what we're going to be doing here with this tool. The first step in this is going to be to remove the filter housing. You want to unplug your mass airflow sensor. Now, I don't expect you guys to be doing this at home, so I may just kind of skim over this stuff. Um, but first things first, filter has to come off. Uh, these Toyotas have a bolt-in style, and luckily for me, there's only one bolt. Someone already broke the one in the back, so that saves me some trouble. Uh, once you lift it up, uh, you got to remove this clamp. This will allow you to remove the top cover. Let me just get this out of the way. These come off very easy, as you can see, if you have the right tool. Uh, now that we have that out of the way, uh, now I'm trying to remove the least amount of items here. Normally... Uh, I would have to remove this boot, but I think I can put my tool in here. I have an inflatable bladder that will go in here and it will cover it. Now, I'm concerned because we have a crank case ventilation port here, but I feel if I put that in far enough, I should be able to block that. So I went ahead and set up my smoke machine. The way this works is 12 volts to the car battery is hooked up. I got my air line for fresh air to go in there, and we're going to take... The other tool on now if you open up the air valve on this and you hit the top button to get it to smoke if you give it about a minute or two here i don't know how well the camera picks it up but you got a smoke show okay guys so to demonstrate how this tool works now 
I removed my air filter and my air box here. Now, I do want to mention you got to be careful when you have something like this. Now, this Toyota has a PCV system or crankcase ventilation system that connects to the intake manifold like they do usually. But this one is actually very close to where the filter is. Normally, they're a little bit lower down or just after the throttle body. But in this scenario, it's right up here. Now, this actually plays as a favor for us because you'd want to normally pinch this off and block it off because you don't want your smoke to get inside the actual engine like the crankcase and piston area you're just trying to get this in the intake to smoke out the intake manifold basically the breathing portion of the car um, now what this tool is going to allow me to do is i can actually go past that and so you're going to take it you're going to push it all the way in there and what you're going to want to do is just start inflating it now it takes a couple pumps and you will see when you're pretty much inflated now i'm going to grab my light and I can see that it's nicely inflated and we blocked off the port. Um, let me grab the camera. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Um, now that I got it in there, you guys can see how it's basically plugged up everything. Now, this angle is probably horrible, uh, but you can see I'm plugged up. This is my entry for my positive crankcase where the air would come out. I'm well past that, so I don't have to crimp it off or do anything. And that's how this sits in here. Now that you guys have seen that, let me get you guys readjusted here. Sorry if the camera's shaky because, uh, well, you know, I'm not the greatest at handling it. Now that you have it hooked up, what you're going to do is you're going to take your smoke machine tip and you're going to insert it into the other port where you're supposed to feed the smoke into. And you're going to want to turn your smoke machine on and wait a couple minutes and let the smoke pour in there and then see where your leak is coming from. It's been running for about five minutes. Uh, as you guys can see, there's no smoke coming out here. Every now and then I just come in here and I make sure that that stays inflated. Mine has a tendency to go down after a little bit. Now, it didn't take long and you guys cannot see it on camera yet, but I already see where the leak is. Uh, let me put my camera, my light here so I can set up the camera. Now, this may be a horrible view guys because if you guys see I'm dealing with wires and lines and everything everywhere. So let me take you guys into the heart of the belly here. And I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up. Boom. We have a smoke show. It's leaking at the intake manifold, guys. Uh, there's a gasket in between there, and that's where it's leaking from. Uh, the smoke is pretty much billowing out. Uh, it's actually really, really bad. There's a lot of smoke coming out of there. So that gasket must have failed completely. So we figured out that basically this vehicle needs a intake manifold gasket. Uh, you guys saw it is pretty clear and cut. Uh, nothing else back there that could leak that bad. Actually, one hand I verified it. Uh, I took my mirror and I got back there and I was able to verify that this is the gasket. Um, this video is not necessarily a how-to or a repair for you guys because I'm using a lot of tools that a lot of people just aren't gonna have, you know, especially if you don't do this every day for a living. Uh, so this is more, I guess, of an entertainment video or to kind of show you guys how we find leaks inside of an intake system. Uh, so maybe next time you go to a repair shop or a dealership and they say, I got to perform a smoke test, you're actually seeing what they're doing or what they're typically doing. Now, the process varies from car to car depending on what's leaking. I can use this smoke testing machine on gas tanks, which basically includes fuel systems. Uh, the intake manifold, I could use it on engines to you know, determine certain leaks. Uh, it's a very multi-use tool and very versatile for finding leaks. Um, I just wanted to do a video so you guys can see the process. Hopefully it helps you guys out. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. It'll definitely help the channel grow and I'll keep making more awesome content and hopefully I can make better content in the coming future. Uh, so hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next repair.